bad time. And Sword Art actually going to opt once you see the Nautilus. In the meantime, XX is like, you can have the blue buff, mate. I'm going to take a dragon. More uh, valuable than three plates being shared between maybe two to three members of LNG, and they're not really going to be able to make as much use of that gold. Oh, depth charge onto Huan Fong. He has to use the arcane shift, but he knows he's going down here. It's all over for Huan Fong, and that is going to be first blood now for Light. I'm surprised. Ava deciding against it in the end here. And kind of an interesting one. When you consider that. Pretty much showing us right now to try and make a play towards mid, which is why Maple is hovering so far. He's going to get a charge down. It won't quite finish this time, I don't think. But with Maple and Chen Lun there, they should be able to drop that one themselves anyway. And Infernal Drake has now well, You're all grouped up in a very small area. I mean, look at the damage that they're already taking. XX moves in, SOFM a level ahead, and he gets the smite for himself. Into the back line, though. Here comes Sword Art, manages to get Haymaker, and walks away with his life as well. Depth charge onto Angel, but there's no follow-up. And soon is realistically what we're going to be looking for. So sorry for everyone at home. We're going to talk nonsense for about two minutes. <laughs> well, I'm just impressed that when you look at the scoreboard, there are two bounties. Right. That is a big old shock blast to hit the back line right there. Then an SOFM stepping on forwards, trying to muscle their way into the fight. And I want you taking a huge amount of damage. Cataclysm from SOFM. And I told you it was all going to pop off. In goes Sword Art Haymaker. And it's a double for Huan Fong. Like desperately trying to get onto everybody. But SOFM survives. And that is going to be a one fight and a Drake for Suni. Finally, we get some action, and Suni will come out with their third Drake invested right. in this game. In a serious point, though, what is the blue buff doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> Maple's. I don't know what's happening anymore, like the. <sighs> okay, well, we've got another fight on our hands, and this time SOFM's been caught out, and with a Baron available, and with Chakrams for light, LNG are quite happy to just start this one off. Trundle going to be more than happy to tank this one as well. SOFM died, so there's no smite for the side of Suning. They've just got to go for a 4v5 here. Juan Fong all across the team. Iwandi goes down. Lights in trouble as Bin brings down his sword. And this is all about Suning. 4v5 and a Baron to boot. Again, LNG up to go for this play, but the engage from Suning is able to just turn around. Juan Fong hitting so many on the game so far, 0, 2, and 1. The same can be said for XX. And here's the thing. Those were the two players I was saying need to be kind of the pillars of this team. They're the veterans. They're the ones that have been around here. Now we're going to see yet another fight. The Baron, they don't want to siege. They just want to play right now. Soon and get another tower, another kill. And now on towards an inhibitor for the side of LNG. And they're going to continue this siege. They're going to look towards this mid lane inhibitor. XX not up for another 10 seconds. And with three barren up cannons on the go, as well as Huan Fong, you'd expect this inhibitor fall any second now. So fantastic little siege here. Coming at 30. The only issue here, though, is that soon haven't backed in quite a while. So they do need to be careful if they're taking the fight. But I don't think they mind. <laughs> I think yeah. they're all right. SOFM going to block the Paddle Star here. Iwandi's gone too deep again. Flashes away, and there's a Cataclysm to block everyone in. Iwandi holding them at bay. But SOFM is pretty tanky. Trades one for one now as Bin goes in onto Light. Won't be able to finish off the third Q. Flash away from Light, but I don't think he was actually in danger there. One for one. As you rightly say, Suning hadn't backed, so they're happy to take that trade, as well as a tower. Now more fighting as Sword Art goes in. Stun onto two of them. He goes down for his efforts, though but it will surely mean that this inhibitor falls. Huan Fong should be able to finish this one along with Bin and Angel. And you know what? Even if Ill oh, Ellis is really starting Woo. to add up on Suning's side, but the poke from LNG here could do a lot of work. Uh, <laughs> not the greatest thought I've ever seen from Huan Fong there. <laughs> Just misses everybody. That will be the Infernal Drake. So now Suning, since there is no objective... Tomb, so that then you actually have a lane you can play around. Well, they don't really have a lane to play around at this point because we'll pass the laning thing. And he's looking fantastic on it here with that Death Dance, with the Blade of the Rune King as well. Baron incredibly low. They are going to burn that one down. Iwandi's gone in. He might regret that decision now. XX trying to get onto the back line as well. But the support falls and nobody from LNG pulls the trigger to go in with him. Sleepy Trouble Bubble onto Huan Fung. But realistically, there's just no follow-up here. Good Shock Blast from Chen Lun. They're just going to... Barrel these minions into the mid lane. Pressure in every lane with this Baron buff. 
This might just be two inhibitors dropping LNG. They've got to make a play somewhere. Huan Fung's the target. Maple barely surviving here. Iwandi desperate to get in. Look at the healing on Huan Fung, though. With double lifesteal items, he's just about invincible. Sword Art goes in. Iwandi goes down. Now in comes Bin as well as they finish off this second inhibitor. The bot lane inhibitor has respawned, but I think Suning maybe have their eyes on the Nexus. No, they want to do things by the book. Well, you need to get the minions here first. Might as well get them in all three lanes. And Suning should just be able to push in here, especially when you've got Iwandi down. It's a four versus five. It certainly is. And well, with a Baron buff, with supers, and with Bin charging forwards, Maple's in trouble and flashes onto the Nexus. As the, uh, the turrets will fall on down, this is going to be the end of the game. Light gets deleted. So does Maple. you got to come back from that one, my friend. And Sword Art just chases everybody else away. There goes the Nexus, and there goes game one in favor of Sunni. LNG really just felt like they didn't know how to operate on that team composition. The, the issue that comes when you start... Oh, 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 oh,